Here it is patched again. And uh, it's a lot of fiberglass resin on the rails. Nose need to be patched a little bit. A lot of, a lot of patch, but when I sand it down, it'll, uh, it'll make it nice. Well, let me show you what uh, has been done. Actually, I filled in all the bad spots with uh, fiberglass and resin and uh, sanded it down. It's pretty smooth. I might have to get out a few more hatchet marks like this. But uh, uh, pretty much very smooth and it's still ugly. But wait until I finish. I think you'll see a great transformation. What I'm doing now is uh, putting the lightning bolt on the board. Actually, I had cut out. I, I made a lightning bolt from the template from this then put it on the board and uh, then just put dots there and then drew the do the uh, tape tape I ran out of the blue tape blue tape's good you don't want to get tape that will uh, stick uh, when you pull up the uh, uh, the tape you know after uh, putting resin down some of the emulsion will stick on the board and it's just really hard really a hassle to get out so actually what I'm doing is I'm, I'm following the line of the template for the lightning bolt and then I'm trying to decide on the colors to put down here. One of the things you want to do is take your fingernail and do this whenever you, whenever the tape crosses. Otherwise when you put the pigment on it'll seep underneath the tape. And then of course you want to, afterwards I, I I stick the tape down, but here I do this on every corner, every corner. These are perfect. So now what I do, of course nowadays I need glasses, so let me find my glasses. To do this fine work. So what I'll do is cut the tape along the line pull it up so if you can see that if you look inside that'll be the lightning bolt on the board but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an extra pin line I'm going to put a black pin line on this so it highlights it'll bring out uh, the uh, you know the other colors uh, but one of the things this foam is so yellowed what I think I'm going to do is use a yellow tint, deep yellow tint, or maybe even an orange. So it, it'll blend in with the, the colored foam. But it's nice to see the center strip. You know, so it's not just a solid board. Most of it I'm going to have to make solid, but I haven't decided everything. So I'll put the pin line on now. Too big or too small. Just something that's nice and even that'll highlight when I... When I put the colors on, this will just make it pop, pop out really nice. So you see, that's probably what an eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch. Put the finishing resin and the black pigment. I catalyzed it. You don't need much. You don't need very much at all here. But it's always critical to not get too much pigment. Get enough catalyst. They have what is called cobalt naphthenate. And that kicks it really fast and really hard, but I think it's a little hard to get a hold of. And I don't even I don't even know if they sell it anymore. So but anyway, this this will be good. So I don't need much. Here you go. Let's try to go within the lines. Don't put too much on. I don't need too much. Black is black. It covers pretty good. I, I'm very cautious here. I go up and back a lot. Great. That'll help you pick the tape up. Perfect. You can always clean up. I'll show you what I do with the the brush I just had. Actually, uh, I took it and I. This is the dirtiest. Not as dirty and clean so that's you know fairly clean so i usually have three uh 
three containers of acetone. You can kind of see it in there. It's uh, it's pretty orange, but I think it'll be I think it'll be nice. I'll try to put this on a little thicker than I did the other, but. Uh, But still, you want to even it out. But yeah, that's pretty thick there. But I don't mind. I don't mind. This is Let's put the new color on, and I'm gonna pull the tape. See how it looks. Yeah, the colors colors about the same, but. Uh, I'll be much more satisfied with this one. So we can kind of just uh, tape this off. I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put yellow in here, real deep yellow. Uh, you want to expose as much as the foam as you possibly can. Uh, ob obviously you're not going to expose really these bad places. Uh, up here it's really bad. Oops, that's a piece of red. From... Oh yeah, that's a good color. That's nice and Nice and deep, different from the orange. And I think I'm going to do the whole board red. Yeah, this is the easiest to wear off street. Well, I mean, it can street, but it's the easiest. But, you just, but it still leaves the center strip exposed, which you want to do as much of the center strip as you can. So that's pretty good. You just kind of leave it and let it. Again, try to get the the tape that's on top of the tape. I know this is on the bottom, but you see, I knew I was going to pull both of those up, so I did that. And the same. Yeah. And once I get the red on. I might do something with white back here too, just to give it maybe a little white here, a little white up there, because you want to have it real, real flashy. This is thoroughly dry. Now you can see it; it's real glossy. Sand this a little bit, because I'm going to put another color on it. Put another color, butt it right up next to it, but I don't want to. Do it. And the lightning bolt, same thing. Just sand this, because I'm going to gloss this. I'm going to put more color on it, and then I'll gloss it. But you can't gloss over something that is real shiny like this. It has to be sanded, or the resin's not. I just tape this off. So I think this is going to be white. Do white in here, and white here. Accent it. And if the board is totally red, uh, it'll really. Uh, exaggerate the white and really make it pop out and I'd probably do some black pin lines as well. Put the tape on the white I put on kind of shadowed again the white uh, bolt and I gotta clean it up but uh, yeah I think you uh, put red on here maybe put a pin line around here to make it jump out again. Uh, right now I'm gonna put some black on and uh, show you how to do a tape off. Now this white is really thin. I mean the pin line is, and I don't have any tape that 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 is that thin. So what I'm going to have to do is slice the tape to the side size, and then the black pin lines around here, and then. Put the black on. Again, I'm not, I don't actually have a plan for all this. I'm just kind of going as I kind of feel what will look good. And hopefully it will when it's done. But you actually never know. And the brush.
that's kind of messed up there, but when it dries, when I come back, I can clean that up really nice. The razor blades and follow, follow the black. And then just rub it off. You don't want to go too deep. And you'll go through the go through the white pigment where the black butted up against the white. You see the more I do this, the cleaner that light. Take off the lightning bolts. You've seen this before, so. Okay, I've just about got it taped off. I'm gonna take the rail. But I wanted to show you something that you need to do after you tape it. You need to press and pull up this way. Otherwise, when it flows over, if it hits the bottom, it'll flow all the way under the bottom. So this way it'll just drip, you know. Down. I've mixed uh, twice as much red as I need because you want the same intensity on the top and the bottom. And so I'm cutting it real close. I've already catalyzed it. One of the things you want to do, as I already did it, is wipe off the board. Just make sure the board's wiped off. I usually do it like this. I wipe it, slap, wipe it, slap. I go up and down the board. But I've already done that. I've already catalyzed it. Try not to drip a lot on the bottom. So, I'm gonna go this. But here's the board out in the sun, so you're going to get a kind of a feel of what it is going to be looking like. And then when I get some gloss coat on it, it'll, and then the, the uh, bolt, the bolt uh, pin lines on it will be nice.